Hello, happy Monday. It is a new weekly vlog and I am currently at the McDonald's drive-thru. Um, I'm with Buzz who has just fallen asleep and I'm about to drive down to my brother's um, for a little day in the garden. So that'll be really nice, but I am really hungry. I've not had breakfast yet. So I had to come the motorway way um, earlier than usual because I think there's traffic where there normally isn't. I might have to pay in a sec. Um, so yeah, I had to go past the McDonald's drive through and I thought that's what I'll have for my lunch slash breakfast. Right, I've got to pay now, one sec. <laughs> Hiya. So yeah, I've just come to get some nuggets and um, then I'll be on my way to my brother's. Hi, there, yeah, are you talking? Um, I think I'm all right actually, thank you. There you are. Thanks. Thank you. So, yeah, I will probably quickly vlog when I get to my brother's. It's saying it's going to be quite a long time to get there. I'm not really sure why. Um, I'm guessing traffic. So, I've just got to my brother's. I'm going to get Buzz out of the car and then go and see them. It's such a nice day. Is he awake? Did you sleep in the car? Look at his little shoes. Did you go see Uncle Chris? Should we? So, we're just in my brother's garden, aren't we? And I'm just holding this muslin up to um, try and shade little man a bit. But um, this garden furniture is a bit in the sunshine, so I'm thinking we'll try and move it over there where it's a bit of shade. But this lawn does just get so much sun, doesn't it? So much sun. And so he's got his hat on, which is a bit big, but it does the job. He's all sun creamed up, aren't you? All sun cleaned up for the first time. First time in the sunshine. Um, but yeah, I did just try moving it, but my brother's just popped out for half an hour. So maybe when he gets back, we'll see if we can move it into the sunshine a bit. Okay, so we are now back from my brother's, aren't we? I didn't really film there because I think I started to film earlier, but then he needed feeding. Oh, have you done a poo? You smell. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I just didn't film. But then on the way home, I popped to Aldi or Lidl. I literally never know which one's which. I think Aldi, um, because we had to get some nappies. And I got a couple of bits, um, just little bits, nothing really. And then, yeah, just came home. So it's now about 20 past seven. I've quickly just thrown together some din dins. I'm just doing the TikTok pasta again that I did last week because um, we had some of the feta left over that needed eating up. And yeah, so that's just in the oven now. I'll do the pasta and we're gonna have garlic bread as well with it. And yeah, I thought I would open my Asda delivery. So I ordered loads of stuff at once. Well, I say loads. His high chair, you're a bit on the wall, can't you? His high chair, his little play arch thing. Um, is that the two things? And then I ordered um, a couple of swimsuits to try for centre parks because I don't think my um, belly is getting in any of my normal ones right now. And yeah, um, another pack of the zip up the sleep suits that I showed a couple of weeks ago. The sleep suits come in a pack of three and they are £11 for three, which for the zip up ones is a really good price. So these are more like neutrals. So there's this beige one with bears, foxes, rabbits on, which is super cute. And then a grey one that's got, uh, is that a raccoon? Is the thing with black mask a raccoon on there? Oh, this one's got raccoons on it as well. Is it the same print? No, similar. A little squirrel. Um, yeah, cute. And then a black one or dark grey that's just got little bear heads on. And yeah, these are just really good because they zip up and it's super easy for a quick change. Um, like during the night and stuff, he wore one of these last night. And yeah, for the night feed, it just made it nice and easy. Um, but you don't need them, like the pop-up ones are fine because I always just unpop like his bottom half anyway. I guess it's only if he has like a poo explosion or leaks that you'd want to completely undress him. But um, yeah, these are really nice. So I got a set of those, but this is like a swim dress thing. I don't know. It. I don't think it's for me to be honest, but this was like a 3am order. So this will probably be going back, but I'll try it on and see what I think. I thought it could be... Like, if I'm feeling insecure about my tummy, it could be an option, but I'll see what it looks like on. And this one's in like this burnt 
kind of copper rust color um and it's just got like padded cups i only really would wear swimsuit with padded cups i don't know why well i guess some people like showing their nipples but i do not um it's got a tiny little cut out here just for a little detail a little bow um and yeah i don't know it i don't know we'll see i thought on the model it looked like it could be a nice option but i will try it on and let you know if I decide to keep either or whatever. Um, I look like I'm not wearing makeup today. I'm wearing just like tinted moisturiser. Um, obviously it's worn off. I've been wearing it all day. But um, yeah, I quite like not wearing too much heavy stuff when the, when it gets a bit hotter. Um, I do have freckles. I don't know. You can't really see. Um, when the sun comes out, especially, I do get more freckles. And I feel like with foundation, they just get covered up. And I like having freckles. So... I thought this year I would try and embrace a little bit less makeup um, during the daytime, so we'll see. But yeah, it's a tinted moisturiser and I like it. My burn is here still. <laughs> it's a bit dry by the feel of it, so I need to put some more aloe on it. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you those a couple of bits. Um, I was about to show you something, but it's a present for someone, so I can't. So yeah, that is all really. I'm going to finish tidying up in here. There's just stuff everywhere Ollie started it but then Buzz needed feeding so he's feeding him whilst playing his game. The um, feta and tomatoes may be a little bit overdone but they're out the oven now, the garlic bread and the pasta and I'm just going to pour the pasta in and then I'll show it once it's all dished up and yummy yummy yummy. So yeah this is what it ends up looking like, um, the cheese kind of just melts into a sauce and then lots of tomatoes, pepper onions and garlic and yeah it's really really yummy i would definitely recommend so i'm just running a bath i've just had dinner it was yummy 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 and um I've just come into buzzy's room because under his cot is where i keep my bath bomb box <laughs> um so i don't know what one i'm gonna have i've got quite a few options um I got this one the other day in Home Bargains. I don't know if you can see, but it's the biggest bath bomb I've ever seen. And it is so heavy. It says it's 500 grams, which, I mean, I'm not really good at weights and stuff. But it is a hefty bath bomb. Um, I got some from Lush in the Boxing Day sale. I think I'm going to have a Christmas hood from Lush because it's just a nice treat, isn't it? Um, and I'm having a bath now. It is half nine or 25 past nine and I don't think I've had a bath in so long like I've not really had a relaxing bath since Buzz has been here to be honest um because I try and have them in the daytime but his naps are like 20 minutes in the daytime and it feels like every single time I get in the bath he starts crying and I have to get out um and before I had him and for my whole life before that Baths have been my good time. <laughs> I love like an hour, hour and a half, two hour long bath. <laughs> so I won't be having one quite that long because I need my sleep. But um, yeah, I might just have like a nice 45 minute bath, treat myself to one of my fave bath bombs. Um, and yeah, just catch up on some socials maybe, have a little browse through my Insta, see what everyone's been up to. I'm going to have my bath now. now. I've chosen my bath bomb and I will see you in the morning. So, good night. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is now about 11am and I'm only just vlogging today um, just because I kind of forgot to be honest. Um, but yeah, today I've not sure what I've done. Just bits, you know. But we're out here. We've been out here for about an hour. Um, I've set out this little tent that i got for the beach so i've just been laying in this like little pocket of sunshine buzz is obviously nicely in the shade he's having a snooze and um yeah we were playing but he got tired out you have a nice time you are so smiling you smiley boy <gasps> Ooh. we're just gonna go and get chips from the chip shop and then sit in the park um so yeah, Buzz's got sun cream on and stuff, I don't know, um, I'm sure we'll find a tree or something with shade, maybe we've got a picnic blanket, oh there's our neighbour walking up the hill. Here, little Buzzy, and his little sandals and his massive hat, but provides good shade because it's so big. We've got our little portion of chippies, my hubby, this life is good, 
Life is good. <laughs> In a little shade of this tree, aren't we? Yeah. Just had a bit of a poo situation. One of your biggest poos yet, wasn't it, Buzzy? Wasn't it? Are you cheeky? Um, yeah, we had yummy chippies. He looked super cute in his little hat. Um, but we're gonna go now because Ollie's got to get back for his meeting. But it was nice to be just doing this, and like, it makes me feel like I can do it on my own. Um, because there's no one around, like, I, I get a bit, like, nervous to go and do stuff on my own with him, because I think, oh, if he kicks off and stuff, but there's literally, like, no one else here right now. And, yeah, I'm sure there's loads of places that could be like that, and, yeah, he could just come, bring his tent, and then, um, I'm holding his hat, like, to block the sun a bit. Um, yeah, bring his tent, and we have a little nap, I read my book and stuff, maybe, so, yeah, I might give it a go. I might get brave. <laughs> Where's your dancing gun? Where's it gone? <gasps> Move from the play mat onto the bumbo for a couple of minutes. He's doing so well. He's having a nice time. What do you see? What are you doing? I just clipped his little thing on here. Bobbing about on ya. Get all excited. Hello, so I've just been upstairs for a while sorting out, um, doing a bit of a big horrible job to be honest. <laughs> I have the most ridiculous amount of clothes upstairs that I just feel like I've just never really thrown away clothes properly like ever since I've been an adult <laughs> or even like a teenager. Um, and when I was like 18, I was like a size 10, 12, and now I am definitely not that. Um, and I think there's a lot of clothes there that I'm like, oh, I'll get back into one day, or I've always thought that. Um, and my weight has fluctuated, like, um, kind of before Florida last year, I'd lost like about three and a half stone, or around that anyway. Um, and yeah, I was slimmer than I am now. I had a baby now, things are different. But also, I think I've kind of held on to clothes because I was like thinking I would get back into them. But also fashion's changed. Like a lot of those clothes, just because they're a small size or just because they're from like a shop that I might not necessarily go to, like there's loads of stuff, or not loads, but there's a few bits that are from like Topshop and stuff that I remember being like, oh, well, I would have spent money on that more than like Primark, you know, but I don't necessarily really like it anymore. So um, yeah, I'm having a massive clear out, but I've just come down to grab my camera and I thought I would make a drink to go upstairs with me. So I'm just gonna make my caramel um, frappuccino. I don't know if I've shown making this before, but I basically use this um, flavoring that I got from Home Bargains. It is sugar-free and I think some sugar-free ones are horrible, but this one actually tastes good. It just looks like this and it is from the brand called Splendid Syrups. Like I said, it was from Home Bargains. I think it was 99p. Um, and then this sauce, which you can get like at any supermarket in the kind of ice cream cone section. Um, so yeah, I always just line the cup, line the cup. I do like the, um, you know what like Starbucks do where you just drizzle it up the sides. Um, I just use my smoothie maker, which is just the Breville one, so the cup just looks like this, um, and I'm going to put some coffee in. I just drink decaf because um, I drink tea normal and I drink um, Coke Zero, but other than that I try to avoid caffeine because um, it does give me palpitations sometimes. So what I normally do, to be honest, is... Um, boil a tiny bit of water um, and mix it with the coffee just so it does like mix it and then in the blender I just do loads of meal electric whiskey frother thing and also this was the thing that was on tiktok wasn't it where people would like whisk it until it was like 
really thick. But I don't really do that. So then I pour it in here, although I think I might have done this a bit full. <laughs> Literally, yeah, I've just run out of whipped cream, so I haven't got lots on there. But I just topped it with whipped cream and more caramel drizzle because it's my fave. Um, and yeah, that is basically basically how I make my drink. Well, you're right on the wonk there. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly go upstairs and I'll show you the mess I've got to deal with. <laughs> right, guys, we were friends before this, and I'd like to be friends after this. Okay, don't let this. <laughs> change your opinion of me. I will insert a picture of the boxes when I first got them down from the loft just so you can see like how many there were. But this is the situation I've got currently. So, <laughs> God, this was full. Now it's like all over the floor as you can see, but that back pile is charity so far. Um, this suitcase is full and I've not gone into it yet yeah that's some like of my posh dresses so that's fine I don't have to deal with those but yeah all of this has to be cleared out so brought up my roll of bin bags <laughs> and I'm gonna bag up the charity stuff that I know is definitely charity and then I've got lots of things I need to try on um to decide what I want to do with it but Jesus this is a big job Ollie's been nagging me to do this job forever let's go okay so it's a few hours later um i'm looking so shiny but i had to stop earlier because buzz was kicking off and ollie couldn't calm him um so i went down and sorted him out and then um yeah then he kind of was needy i think today is day one of his new leap and yeah maybe this evening that started to kick in i don't know and um yeah so i've just come back upstairs for the last like, half an hour or so to finish it off and you would not believe how much i've got rid of look four full bin bags worth this is a pile of clothes that i'm going to see if naomi wants um these are some of ollie's like summary bits that were just mixed in with my stuff this is what I'm keeping, these two boxes. So the top box is like more sentimental clothes and the bottom box is just like winter and some summer that I don't fit in currently, but I think I will like soon. It's not like too optimistic, you know? And then the suitcase was full and it's now empty. And these three boxes were full and they're now empty. So these clothes are the clothes I sorted through the other day that Buzz has now grown out of. So I'm going to put them away in one of these boxes. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it tonight, but at some point soon I will. But yeah, Ollie's just put the house, look at this mess. Um, Ollie's just popped out because he's gone to get a too good to go bag from the M&S garage. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Too Good To Go. If you've watched one of my vlogs before, that's when I went and got the um, stuff from Costa that was like, um, yeah, was going to get thrown away, basically. It's like a food waste app. Um, so shops, restaurants, all of those places um, will just list stuff. And it's generally like you spend like, two, three, four pounds, and you'll get like 10, 12, 14, 16, whatever pounds worth of stuff. So the MS one I think was three or four pounds, and I think it said you got at least 12 pounds worth of stuff. So, um, I mean, I guess in MS that might not even look like much. <laughs> um, I've never done one of theirs before, so it'll be interesting to see what you get. Um, yeah, sometimes you can get really good stuff, and other times you might be a bit like, hmm, it doesn't seem great, but for the amount you pay, generally there's going to be stuff in there that you like. And um, if it's meat and stuff, it can be frozen because it will still be in date. Um, but yeah, so Ollie's gone to collect that. Ollie's just got back with a bag. It looks like an Indian takeaway. Does it feel heavy? Yeah. I was thinking though, like what, is it going to be that good? Because, uh, gross. Yeah, because, no, because the amount you're going to get... Twelve pounds worth is really not much, is it, from Eminence? Yeah. Cheese and onion, overload. Cheese and onion, 
Would you eat that sandwich though? Pano. Pano. Um, pano. The good things are yours, did she say? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the last thing? Oh, that honey roast ham. You don't like honey roast, you never let us buy it. It's got everything. Mm. Oh. There you go, free quick. Yeah. yeah. This one's not that good, is it? Morning! Good morning, everyone! Good morning! <laughs> so, Buzzy is just waiting for his bath to cool down if you can hear. The beeping is a bit hot at the minute. I always just run it and then let it cool down because it cools down so quick. Doesn't it? So we just got you Nikki Nikki Nikki. We'll take Nappy off last thing because we do not want to get soaked. No we don't. No we don't. Look at this dum dum. But yeah, so we're <laughs> gonna go and have a bath because you are disgusting. You're disgusting from all the sun cream yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so I've done a little bit of makeup. Um, although on the camera it looks like a lot of makeup. Look at my cheek. That does not look very well blended um, in the mirror. It didn't look like that. So I'll go and have a double check. But just feeding little man. Um, so this morning. He's had a bath and is all ready for the day. His hair is so funny. <laughs> um, and yeah, I need to still do my hair. Hopefully I get a chance. Because <laughs> going out like this is not cute. Um, but yeah, I've just gone through my drawers and popped, popped, and popped a couple more bits um, into the charity bag from my drawers. It feels quite good to like be getting rid of it. We still obviously still have it all in the house. I've not been to the charity shop yet. I get nervous to go to the charity shop. Like, it's one of my weird things. I guess if you have any kind of social anxieties, you will understand. Like, sometimes you just overthink weird situations that other people would just do without even, you know, thinking about it twice. Um, and for me, going to a charity shop and giving them my stuff... <laughs> Like, even though I know, like, loads of it is, like, really nice stuff, um, and from, like, good shops and with labels on and stuff, like, I still just have in my head that, like, I'm giving them my rubbish, like, which I'm not, obviously, I wouldn't give them stuff that isn't good, like, I throw away things that, if anything's got a hole in or stain or, you know, any of that stuff, um, but I just feel like they could be looking and going, oh, no, we don't like your stuff, I, I don't know, like, pff, it literally makes no sense so that's always something that I kind of ask Ollie to run in and take the bags but um yeah I managed to shave my legs although they're looking pretty dry now so I need to moisturize um yeah he had a little nap so it allowed me to like just quickly speed through some things <laughs> I have just brushed my hair out it has been in a bun look at this Buzz was just staring at it he was like what is that on your head <laughs> Um, Jesus, wish me luck to do something with this, it's like, we're going to get your first laugh because of my hair. <laughs> In the car now and um, it's very warm actually, but um, I've just had to carry Buzz down with a couple of bags, so that's probably why I'm feeling warm. My hair luckily um, looking a little bit better with a couple of curls to it. Um, and yeah, we're just about to drive to Blue Water now. It is about 10 past 11. Um, I've not heard from Nomi, so I'm guessing she's still getting her lashes done. Um, but I'm just going to head there now anyway um, and I can have a little mooch around if... Um, yeah, I can have a little mooch around if she isn't there yet. Sorry, that was really rude of me. I've just had an email. I've signed up to something um, with the charity called Mind, called Mindful Mums. I don't know if it's in every area, but it's definitely in Bromley, which is like the borough that I fall under. And I assume it's normally like a face to face thing, but at the minute it's a Zoom meeting. Um, and yeah, the first one's tomorrow. So I've just had a reminder email for that. So I will let you know what that's like. Let's go. <laughs> so we've just parked up um, and Buzzy is awake. You slept in the car, didn't you? 
Did didn't you? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep him in his car seat thing for now because it's a lot more like nimble around the shops. His um, lay down pram thing is just a bit more like clunky. So yeah, we're gonna go in now. Naomi's still about 20 minutes away, but we'll go in because he's cold. Okay, we're just inside. I'm just gonna wait by the entrance for Naomi. Buzzies, be good boy. Um, yeah, so it doesn't seem too busy. I can see lots of people queuing upstairs for Primark, so I think we'll probably be giving Primark a miss today, but that's okay. We went there last week, so um, yeah. I want to go to like H&M, New Look, um, H&M mostly for like him, just have a little look, but also for me, New Look, um, and yeah, Disney Store, just have a little mooch, have a little mooch and mooch, and I think we're going to get McDonald's, although I don't know if they've opened the outdoor seating here or not, so we'll have to see, but um, yeah, just waiting for Naomi now. Are you buying this? Yes, because <laughs> he cute. loves his food and his human. We're in Shop Disney and they do pins in here now. I know some of you guys probably always have had pins, but mine has never had it. Them, shall I say? Oh, oh they like this. So. I'm a sucker for a key ring. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, Mickey. I love that they're playing high school music. I know. <laughs> Buzz is loving it. Oh, what? I always buy the years when we go to Disneyland Paris. Yeah. So do I get it now? It'll be cheaper now, won't it? It will be cheaper now. And I mean, and then I just think like if we don't get to go, and then they stop. Yeah. Selling them. Well, I picked myself. And that's quite a nice one. Quite a special one. Bins. So we've just had. Our lunches. This one got a bit upset because it's a bit windy. But yeah, we just ate outside by the river, and it was nice, but bloody freezing. So we're going back inside now. We're going inside because nobody needs a big poo. <laughs> Thank you. No denying it. <laughs> Hello. So it is now about half four, and we are back home. Just got home. Given Buzz a bottle. He was so good. Yeah, he's so good when um, we were out, he's his little feet kicking up, he's just on the cushion next to me. Um, and yeah, he was so good, he pretty much slept the whole time. When we went outside, because obviously that's where we had to eat, um, he woke up um, because we stopped. He wakes up when I stop pushing him quite often anyway. Um, but yeah, he woke up and then he was a bit unsettled then, but I think it's because he was cold. Yeah, because then when we wrapped him up and put an extra layer of clothes on him, he was all good. I thought I would show you some of the bits I got today. Um, is the lens okay? There's always bits when I come to edit as bits. Um, but yeah, I got quite a lot more than I expected to, to be honest. Like you saw, I have thrown out loads of clothes and um, it's obviously transitioning season. My body is different to what it has been. And yeah, I didn't really get loads, but I don't have any jeans right now that fit me properly. Um, so I knew I wanted to get a pair of jeans if I could find one. I haven't tried them on, so we might might not have any luck. I think jeans shopping is always so hit and miss. But um, yeah, I'll show you what I've got. This is my Primark bag, for God's sake. Um, so yeah, first thing I got from Primark was this hoodie. Um, it's literally just a plain like beige, hoodie um i just wanted a really oversized one that would like cover my bum in leggings and this one does i got this in xl i think um so it's like really like nice and baggy but cozy um so i got that i think that was 12 pounds i got these little measuring um spoons which to be fair i didn't really like need because i do have measuring cups but these are so freaking adorable. <laughs> um, and the ones I got were from just like from Poundland and they aren't like, um, I mean, this is only Primark, so it's not like, you know, tons better quality, but these actually do feel really sturdy um, and they're just really cute. So they was just £1.50 for the set. Um, so yeah, I just thought they were really, really nice. They're just little Mickey hands, different colours. Um, and yeah, there's four measurements and it's not printed on. Naomi said she's got some that are similar that were from Shop Disney um, and the measurements were printed on and it all scratched off over time. So these are like part of the plastic design. So that won't happen, which is really good. Um, so yeah, I thought they were really cute for £1.50. I also then got 
a couple of pens. If you guys have been to Disney World or Disneyland Paris or wherever, I assume do it as well, um, you know the style of pens that you can get in the parks. Well, Primark has decided to start doing them. So I got a Stitch one, a Pluto one, and a Winnie the Pooh one. And they were £1.50 each as well. And I just thought they'd look cute in my pen pot on my desk. And I love, I love a bit of stationery me. So yeah, I was chuffed with those. And then I think, is this the last thing I got in Primark? I think so. Um, I got this set of lunch boxes. So it's a set of three for four pounds. Um, we do have a lot of Tupperware, but um, it's all a bit like higgledy piggledy. And I like these nests of them that you can get where they all fit inside each other. Um, because then it's just, you know, tidier in your Tupperware drawer. Um, and yeah, so you get three, like I said. So the first one is this watermelon mini surrounded by mini, like, lollipops. And then the next one is a, like, a lime mini surrounded in some more lollipops. And then the last one is all, like, Disney snack lollipops, strawberries, I thought they were really really cute um, and yeah they feel like good quality, they can be dishwashed and put in the freezer and all of that so I thought that was really good for £4 and yeah just really cute. So next thing I will go to the Disney store um, and show you what I got there. Um, so first thing I got, I was actually really impressed with Shop Disney or the Disney store um, because you are being a good boy. I don't know, I always find it to be a bit naff to be honest, like I always have such high expectations but in reality I always just think it's a bit naff um, or I'll see other people get amazing stuff there and I don't but I was able to get a few things and I think everything I got was in the sale actually as well so the first thing I got was this little um, baby vest and it's not like completely my cup of tea but it's a Halloween one and I thought it can be Buzz's little Halloween outfit my first Halloween um, and yeah she's got like a vampire Mickey I love Halloween and I don't know I can just imagine like if you guys will follow me on Instagram or follow me on here actually I did a video about it um, for this Halloween just gone, you know I had a Halloween tree. So if I can find the time, which right now seems so impossible, it's such a luxury to do that before, but if I can find the time, you know, he'll be older by then, it might be a bit easier to put up a Halloween tree, then I'll absolutely be doing it again. And I can get a little picture of him in front of it with this. And yeah, hopefully we can get to go to a little Halloween party. I think, well, last year we had a little get together. So yeah we can hopefully do that and it is super cute and that was in the sale and it was £5.60 originally £8 so not a massive saving but a good enough saving next thing I got the set of baby vests um, so it's a set of three um, Christmas ones so there's one that's like I'll show you the back um, yeah one that's like red and white stripy with a pocket design um, that's got Mickey Mouse coming out of it, another one that's like a quite a traditional looking Christmas design and then another one that's got stripy sleeves that says joy and I just thought that was really cute and I've got these, um, everything I've got here is 9 to 12 months so um, the Halloween one and this one and these were originally £17 and I got them for £8.50 which I thought was good. We just got... Um, some face masks so me and Naomi decided to go um, and get a pack each and split them for Ollie and Ron um, so we've got one pack that's like Pixar it's got Mike Wazowski um, and like some Pixar prints and then another one that's like Star Wars ones and these were £20 a pack originally and then they were down to £6 so yeah we got those um, and we will just give the boys two from each pack for our Disney trip I got these um, Disney princess ones again were £20 and down £6 I'll try it on here actually because um, you're not obviously allowed to try them on and there was a little thing in store to like measure your face so I'm hoping these are a good size so I'll show you so there's one here that's just like a print of the princess's names another one that's like Ariel um, 
an Elsa one, and then a all the Disney princesses together. So. Yeah, that's perfect size. So I got medium, and that is a really good size, actually. Really happy with that. <laughs> so yeah, I really like those. Um, and again, they'll be really good for Disneyland Paris, because I'm guessing we'll have to wear masks. Rogue thing, but <laughs> Naomi is an NHS worker, so she gets half price dozen sets of dozen donuts on a Wednesday. If you guys look for the NHS or have a blue light card, I think it is, then you guys can get that too. I don't know if it's an all the time thing or if it's just at the minute, but just, you know, I'm sure you know. But um, she also had some smiles on her account. So she treated us to a set of donuts. A bit random to be sharing these, but this is what we got. So I got a box of six. Um, we I was gonna get a 12 because she gets the half price, but. I mean, we're not seeing anyone other than those guys anytime soon. And Ollie and I cannot get through 12 donuts. Next, from next, I got Buzz this money box. It says, you are my sunshine. <coughs> Bless you. Which, if you guys don't know, is um, was the song that me and my mum used to always sing to me. And then when I was old enough to sing it back, it was like our song. And we'd always sing it to each other. Um, yeah, and that's a really special song to me, and I have sung it to Buzz quite a lot, so I just thought this would look really cute in his room. He has a rainbow in there, and the green on this kind of matches the green in his room, so he doesn't have a money box or anything like that, so I thought I could start popping our pennies in there for him. I got a pair of jeans from the Lift and Shape range in New Look, and I've got these in a size 14, um, and I can get them on, but they are just tie it around my mum tum so I thought I would go up a size and see what they're like these are just a mum style ones though the other ones I've got a skinny but these are stretchy so hopefully they fit and they might not but um I was really lucky that was with Naomi as well because she got 25% off um which is really handy and these are yeah in the petite so they're the lift and shape mum petite and then the last things I got were from the entertainer, I think it was. So I got this rattle set for Buzz, which he's looking at, because I kind of realized that he doesn't really have lots of toys and we've really been playing lots recently. I love just getting, you know, some blankets out on the floor, getting mirrors out and getting bits out, but he doesn't have lots and lots. And so I thought these would be good because he should be able to grab them quite easily. Um, so we'll get those out um, for him to play with and that was yeah a set of how many rattles well, i don't know where i put the receipt for those but i think that was 10 pounds for the set um i also got this little activity thing which i think was four pounds um and yeah it's just got loads of stuff going on um this is the kind of thing that i could definitely have picked up on facebook marketplace i know people do oh do you like it People do bundles of baby toys, but um, yeah, I decided to just pick this up for us. This rattle ball, just it makes like a different kind of sound. I got a couple of bubble ones. These were two for one pound, and I thought he might like to play with the bubbles. Ooh, he's already staring at them. Then I just picked up this um, Beauty and the Beast book. If you saw, I got the Sorcerer one from Primark the other day for £2 or £2.99, I can't remember, but this was just £1 um, and yeah, I used to have all of this style book, I think I said already, um, when I was younger and so I just sort of picked this up, Beauty and the Beast is my fave. And then in boots I just got a face mask, um, these were down to £1.99 I think and a, um, a new sponge for my makeup. So yeah, that is everything that I bought. So quite a lot for someone who went out not thinking she needed anything but it was so nice to just browse the shops like I was saying to Naomi like for so long you've just not done that have you like it's been only really like stuff you thought you, you needed which is obviously better like savings wise and stuff um but it's just so nice to browse and just pick up things I didn't necessarily go in for but just go oh that would be good for this or that but you know it was just really nice so now I'm gonna pop this all back in the bags um and deal with it later. It's been such a good little squish, haven't you? You've been a good little squish with the craziest hair. 
didn't you? We had a lovely day, didn't we? Mm, thank you so much. Should you go and play with some of your toys? Should we? Buzz. A tick, tick, tick. A tick, tick, tick. Where's yours and my yours? I suddenly appeared just because I mentioned donuts and he's got a bib, yet he still managed to um, spill it all down himself. <laughs> God's sake, you tucked in a muslin, but you've got like it in the shape of a tie, so it's not going to cover anything, is it? You had to use a plate, so what flavour is that? You haven't got in there yet. No. What is that one? I can't remember. Chocolate. Isn't that nuts on top? Is it the Nutella one? Oh, yeah. Buzz is playing with some of his toys. <laughs> you do it. Buzz, you do it. You're making me look silly. But we've been playing, haven't we? You're so lucky with all your toys. It is 10 o'clock and we are off to bed. Buzz has just fallen asleep. So that's a couple of hours later than he has been recently. So fingers crossed, that means he wakes up a bit later. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll let you know in the morning. Good morning. I have to be super, super quick because I am just about to join a Zoom call. I've just quickly come downstairs to get a drink. Um, as you can see, I faked hand last night. I needed that little bit of glow in my life. So you have to like count one and then start doing your fingers and then you go out like a petal of a flower, okay? So I'm gonna say it and then we'll do it. And just get the hairdresser. So I am back home now and I forgot my camera so I didn't really film anything. I took like a clip of me in the chair but um, yeah, this is my new hair. I've gone back quite light and blondie. So I had half a head of balayage so um, the underneath stayed the same because um, it did have, still have some blondie in it from before. Um, and yeah, we just lightened up the top and yeah had to have quite a lot cut off um and the hairdresser was saying that my hair you can see where it's growing while i was pregnant um there's like a chunk of like really healthy hair but it is curly like it's grown through from the root curly um which it never used to do so that's interesting she said stuff like that always happens with pregnancy um she did say that now is about the time that my hair might start falling out um you know, you know how some people lose hair after pregnancy, but she did say I didn't lose like a single hair when she was brushing it, which I'm sure is just a bit of an exaggeration, but um, yeah, so that is good. She said there was no greys, which is something I was worried she was going to find, um, but she, <laughs> my hair was pink a bit, like a bit tinged pink from a bath bomb I had, um, and I washed my hair in the bath. I know some people think that's gross, but I did it. When you're a mum, you got to do these things to be quick, um, and yeah. Not only did the bath bomb stain me pink a little bit, and the bath stained my hair pink. So luckily, I think that's come out with the dye. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And then I just popped to Tesco afterwards. Um, Ollie requested a Colin cake because it's been in the news so much. Um, so obviously yeah, Tesco... It gets you in the mood for it, doesn't it? It does. It's probably their ploy. Yeah, Tesco do curly, but they also do... Oh, God. <laughs> They also, I also do, do Callie, Callie. Who, who is a pink one. I'll hold it in front of the window so you can see a bit better. But um, yeah, she's a little pink girly one. And he, um, Curly's got like a orange face and stuff and he's a bit ugly. But this one was really cute. So he got that one instead. You don't mind though, do you, babe? No. No. <laughs> well, is it Callie Super Cali fragilistic. Oh, super Cali. Yes. Yeah. I have got such a bad... So um, I've just come up, I'm just sat in bed. I'm just about to have my dinner in bed, which is proper lazy. Buzz is sleeping. He's been sleeping since I've got home. I've not been able to see him awake yet. Um, but no doubt he'll wake up. Like, it's not a normal time for him to be sleeping. He was sleeping from very early. So does that mean he's not gonna sleep tonight? I hope not, because I didn't sleep well last night. Um, so it's about 20 to nine, and I'm just about to have my dinner. I've just got um, casserole, which looks so unappealing, and I know, but it will taste nice. I just did it in the slow cooker before I went to the hairdresser because I knew, um, yeah, I wouldn't want to come home and cook dinner. So I'm glad I did that. Um, and then Ollie was obviously able to eat without me. Did have to wait for me. 
I will see you in the morning because we are going for a fun day out. <laughs> Say good morning. Good morning, everyone. Who's that? Say good morning. <gasps> Ooh. Buzzy and I just got dressed and ready for the day. Look at the colour difference between our arms. <laughs> Fake tan life. Hair's looking on point, Buzzy. It's looking super cool. So I've just driven to Naomi's. I'm just waiting for her to come out and then we are gonna drive down to the Rare Breed Centre. Sorry about the lighting, it's very bright. Um, yeah, the journey down here is always so lovely. Like, I, I like the roads that I have to drive on. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the journey's like to the place we're going today, but um, hopefully it's not too bad and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We've just got to the place. It is called the Rare Breed Centre, I think. And it's in Ashford. I'm here with Naomi now. Oh, hey. Look how nice her lashes look. Little pretty girl. And then we've got Buzz with his personal assistant. Oh, oh. <laughs> making sure that sun isn't in his eyes. Oh. I don't know what they are, but. <laughs> it said ducks. And they look a bit duckish. They do, but they also look a bit like. Chicken y. You like them? Coco! Coco! Oh, Coco! Wink, wink. He's looking at you. You're like, whatever, mummy. Show me the good animals. <laughs> we are just in the cow shed, cattle shed, whatever, and Buzz decided it was an opportune time to request some milkies. I've told the cows that it's not their milky, so hopefully they don't mind. But we're in the shade here, so I thought it was a good little place. I was holding him, but he got a bit heavy. You hear all the cockerels and stuff. Um, yeah, you see all the poo up the walls. But they obviously just stand next to the wall and poo. <laughs> Naomi over there taking some pictures. You got cutie pie here. My hat's a little bit big, but it's zero to three. It's the smallest we could find, wasn't it? Look at that rabbit, he's like, how dare you go over to them? <laughs> huh? Look. I don't want to scratch him with the hair. There's mummy, you saw the rabbit. Look at your bubbles. What's your bubbles for? Every day I'm bubbling. Oh, oh my goodness, he's still in there. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, was this all not enough for you, my friend? You cheeky. Are you cheeky? Is he a cheeky monkey? Is he cheeky like you? Dib, dib, dib. A little piggy. Another little piggy. Are you a little piggy? Oh, he looks like he's smiling. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, oh little spoon in piggies. That's what mummy and daddy look like at night, Buzzy. <laughs> oh, they cool, dude. But we just stopped for lunch, no name. Oh hey. So we're having a little snack. Um so yeah, we've just stopped. Bought a little picnic. Well Naomi made a little picnic. All I did was provide the coke, which I think is gonna be the best bit, I'm not gonna lie. What's that? <laughs> it's a little caterpillar. Um God the, can you hear the birds? They're so loud. They're these like giant chair things, so we're gonna Hope to get a little panel if you can see. A little picky on those once we're done. Oh, cute. Here's our lovingly prepared lunch. You've got some Billy Bear ham, don't hate. Some other bear gems. Barney there, which I only tried to tell us on the other day. Some monster munchies, some rolls, some crispies. You did a great job. Like, 
the lunch of adults, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <It's> me. <laughs> and then when we when Buzz starts eating, I'll bring him all his like pureed, healthy food, and we're gonna be like, and this is us. <laughs> now on their big chair. Are you on your big chair? Hello. Say yo. What's up, dudes? Bigaboo. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's not the whippersnapper she once was, Buzzy. Yeah. Is it making you sleepy? Is it making you sleepy? Is it? My head fits in. Can you see it? Yeah. Steady. Steady. Oh, woo! Wow! You can never eat an ice cream though, like innocently, can you? <laughs> Definitely does not move. We've just stopped for our little ice cream. Now we've got a little watermelon. I've got a fruit stacker stack. Um, Buzz is over there snoozing. Mm -mm -mm. See, I do like chocolate ice cream stuff, but when it's warm, I always want something like fruity. It's a bit more refreshing, isn't it? So, did you want to go to the outlets or did you want to go home? Or I'm to happy do? to go to the outlets. More than happy to go. We can see what they're like, can't mm. we? I'm not in any rush to get home. Okay. <laughs> right, so we've just driven to Ashford Outlet. Um, Naomi's excited because I've just informed her there's a Kate Spade here, which she didn't know. Um, so nice <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to have a look because it's Ollie's birthday next month and I want to just maybe get him like a hoodie or just some little bits. Like he never wants anything. I don't know if anyone else's partner's like this, but he just doesn't want for anything. She got that round. So yeah, we're gonna have a little look. So we've done Kate Spade. Um, what else did we do? The like cosmetic store. I got a um, Too Faced like um, Born This Way. It's like a concealer, but it's like a multi-use one. I do have one that's a concealer set shade, but I got a darker shade because I thought I could use it for like a, a cream bronzer or like a liquid bronzer because I am. Um, I'm preferring not wearing too much powder at the minute, you know. And I have a powder bronzer and I've been thinking of trying that so I thought that would be a good idea to try it was like 15 pounds or something I'll show you later I've also got a hoodie for Ollie's birthday um, Naomi got quite a few bits in the cosmetics store and she got some earrings from Kate Spade which are really nice um, I was umming and ahhing with her to get them as well but I was like we can't <laughs> always have all the same stuff can we um, but yeah she's in Calvin Klein now I went in there as well but it stinks so bad of poo I can't see my viewfinder so I don't know if I'm like even in shot um, but it smells so bad like sewers um, so <laughs> I came out Buzz is still sleeping he's been sleeping the whole time we've been here so he's been a really good boy um, but yeah it's really like not that busy or anything um, yeah, there's no like queues to go in any of the shops or anything like that the only queue we've seen is for Wagamama <laughs> um, but yeah, all good really. It's nice and chill. I don't know what else I can think of getting for Ollie, but I'm gonna continue to have a little browse. Um, yeah, it's really nice like to just be out and like, again, like something quite normal, like the shops aren't too busy or anything like that. I thought they'd have bigger discounts on because they've been shut for so long. So we've just got back in the car. Um, Buzz had leaked through his nappy, poor little sausage, but we've just got to change into his pajamas so he's all ready for when we get home. Uh, Naomi got lots of things. I feel like I just pulled my shoulder. Oh. I don't know what I've done. Oh. Yeah, so it happens, like when you get older, I do think like when you're old, <laughs> 
like you get more like aches and pains don't you and when you're taller as well you get like growing <laughs> pains growing pains are you still growing is he still growing i was like nah right anyway i can't get like because i haven't looked at myself that much i know that sounds so vain but like i look so different anyway i feel like if i didn't have a tan though i feel like i need to always have a tan now yeah. i think once you get addicted to it don't you yeah and also with like lighter hair i just feel like i don't know anyway let's drive back to naomi's house i wonder how long it's gonna take what's the time 20 past six at least we've missed rush hour <laughs> <laughs> oh it's so funny like i feel like we just could spend like so long and it just never feels long at all oh, no. it's a problem anyway i'm gonna go bye so I've just got home and straight into my pyjamas and a freshly washed hoodie, which is the best feeling ever. So I've not even really seen my baby yet. He came out to help me unload the car. He's here. Why are you hiding? Why hiding? <laughs> Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? <laughs> Cutie pie. I missed you today. What's this little munchkin moaning about? A hungry? A hungry? Hello? Hiya? Right, we're gonna go to bed, aren't we? Well, not really, we're just here with a cup of tea. I'm gonna watch some Netflix you are throwing your head about. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this week's weekly vlog. If you enjoyed it, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you would like. That always means the world when people take the time to comment, doesn't it, Buzzy? Especially when they're complimenting you. You love that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this vlog and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye! Mwah! Mwah! I just wanna love you just